Hi, welcome back. It's Craig with the Butler Pantry here in Saugatuck, Michigan. And it's summer. It's 50 degrees outside. I mean, I wore my Hawaiian shirt today. It's, it's, I mean, summer is here. So uh, we're, all, we're all out here enjoying the sun. But our video today, oh, almost forgot. I was, welcome Elvis back. He's back from tour. Elvis did a great job. Julia. And she only has one more day, and then it's over. You know, one more day of celebrating. And Julia, you're looking a little tired. And we're also, you know, Julia has a new show out. Uh, and well, I don't know how, you know, I hope she can stay with us, but who knows what will happen with that new show. So, our, um, oh, Junior. God, I almost said Junior. He, Junior's been backing up the sauce again. So, today, lay off. So, anyway, we have a special guest. Ian from Woodbury Distributors. Let me introduce him. Ian, come over here. Ian has brought some wines from the state of Washington, and of course, all those who are a little geographic challenge. We're back with the state of Washington right there, and this is the eastern side, Columbia AVA. And Ian is going to walk us through these wines. Ian, I think you have a Chardonnay. You want to talk about the winery? Yep, it started, started in 1982 by John Boakwalter. Uh, their family's been in viticulture uh, for about 10 years before 1982. Finally, they come into play uh, with their winery on the Waluca Slope in 1982. They've been making wines ever since. Uh, today here we've got their Notebook Chardonnay, Notebook Red Blend, and their Reader's Merlot. And we'll start off with Chardonnay. Oh, excellent. Let's like, wait to try this. No oak. Uh, some years they'll put some neutral oak on there. Um, and uh, we have, our, we have our, our crew out here who's awful thirsty. They're all going to eat some for them. <laughs> uh, yeah, just really um, nice, interesting wine, but without being too uh, forward. Uh, really easy, drinkable patio wine. Great with food. Really great with anything. Uh, very inexpensive uh, as well, so you don't have to worry about your pocketbook. And it says just a little touch of oak. Mm -hmm. It's not overdone. No, not at all. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And tell us about your next wine. This is the Notebook Red Blend. Um, Non-vintage, they make a lot of this, so uh, this is kind of like their year-round bread and butter wine. Another one, easily drinkable, uh, kind of a crowd-pleasing wine, and that's what these Notebook series are kind of are built for, uh, is just trying to, you know, um, play to everyone's taste. Uh, so this is Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Merlot and Malbec blend, pretty much all the oh. same uh, mm -hmm. percentages uh, with, again, just a little bit of oak on them. Mm -hmm. Beautiful color. Nice color, yeah. And the crew is still thirsty, yeah. by the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys, you better drink up. Get going. <laughs> mm. The nose on that is, is really nice. It's great. Yeah, these wines yeah. are all colder climate wines. Um, which, when those cool winds come in, uh, oh. that that's a big factor in allowing aromatics to come through in wine. Uh, we see in hot regions, you get a lot more uh, sweetness on the nose and on the palate, of course, because the, ripe, the grapes are so ripe, uh, whereas in this region, it kind of plays to both ends of it. It allows it to come to a natural, kind of even keel point of maturation of the grapes uh, before they make the wine, which just allows you to have... Uh, a more even experience when you're drinking it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, and that was the uh, blend. Yeah. And now you guys are ready for another red. What do you have here? I'm gonna show uh, that label right up there. Yeah. Yep. This is Look the label series. That looks good. Uh, so nice label. A little bit of a step up. We chose the Merlot today just because um, it's it's a beautiful wine that everyone can kind of jive with. Uh, there's a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon and Malbec blended with this as well. So primarily Merlot, but a little bit of Cab and, and Malbec just to add a little bit of depth to it. Mm. We'll pour some of that for you. This steps up into their Reader Series line, uh, Book Walter Reader Series. You kind of get the point. Um, they're trying to uh, play on their last name, which, mm. which works out very nice. And all the Reader Series have this kind of cool design on the front of it. Uh, yeah, very interesting mm. wine. And uh, for a, a higher-end mm. bottle from their inventory, it's actually... Still quite affordable, so yeah, that's actually it's a very, it's very smooth, yeah, yeah, very smooth, nice yeah. soft tannins. Yep, soft tannins. Mm -hmm. They'll add a little bit of the the nicer oak to some of their um, uh, reader series wines as well. 
uh, so more more expensive production method. More. You know, Did you get a bigger price. pour than me? Maybe a little bit. Who knows? <laughs> I'm jealous. Yeah, I love this wine. Ah. Excellent. And now, the next wine. So these are the three Washington State wines from Notebook. The Chardonnay, the Blend, and the Merlot. And uh, the next one, you know what our what video we had uh, our, was on Oregon? And we talked about Pinot Noirs and how difficult it can be to find, you know, sometimes, you know, find a nice Pinot. What, what did you bring us today? And just to refresh your memories, here is a picture of Oregon. So... What'd you so, say? Selena is one of my favorite wineries from Oregon, uh, the Willamette Valley, and the, actually in a sub ABA called Yim Hill Carlton, which is a very hilly area, lots of slopes, um, great place for uh, plenty of sun for obviously the maturation of grapes growing and whatnot. Um, and uh, Selena, if uh, and most people don't know them, but they are uh, they just this particular wine here uh, took first place in most or the. Um, uh, best uh, wine in, or best Pinot Noir in Oregon, or most uh, best value Pinot Noir in Oregon this last year. So uh, you'll see that in Wine Spectator as soon as they publish that, uh, and very very affordable. So, uh, so you can just like guzzle this down. Oh, easily. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so very even. Um, this was actually started by a French winemaker, Laurent Montelieu, uh, and uh, his his family who stay there on the vineyard. And uh, they're really excellent wines. It kind of brings that uh, Oregon lightness uh, with a little bit more. Well, that's a nice Pinot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's got everything yeah. you need. Very even keel. Mm hmm. Very nice. Well, so Oregon Pinot. We've got the uh, Selena. We've got the Notebook, and. Um, I'm going to start wrestling around with Ian to, you know, see which ones we buy in for the Butler Pantry so you folks can come in here and buy some. So, I'm Craig, Ian with Woodbury Distributors. Thank you for coming. I very much appreciate it. Can't wait to get back. Um, that's it. You guys want to give him a big hand, too? Come on, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I still have so, my debut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here on Saturdays from noon to four. We have wine tasting, one to three. Please come in and join us. Check out our, our website at thebutlerpantry.com and the wine club and all the wines there. And we will look forward to seeing you again in our next video.